One of the best parts about working in this business is traveling the country and meeting new people along the way. When you stop and listen to the stories they tell, you realize there are so many folks who help make this country America the Beautiful. Harry Smith is one of the lucky few who gets a chance to tell those incredible stories week after week. This morning, he takes a look back at some of the people he's met in 2018 for our Sunday Closer. The worst kept secret in America is I have the best job in the country. Harry, wait for me. Be it skiing in Steamboat with Olympic legend Billy Kidd, or swimming in the cool, clear waters of Lake Winnipesaukee with women who love loons. <laughs> we do manage to get around a bit. Last summer, we drove Alaska's Dalton Highway all the way to the top of the continent. It's an amazing country, a place so naturally fantastic, it was hard to take it all in. It's more important than the places we went were the people we met. B.J. Chester Tamayo is the proprietor of Alcinia's restaurant in Memphis. The cuisine is down home, way down home. Why do you think people come here? I am the world's greatest restaurant. Not America, not Memphis, not the United States, the world. Because I have love. Don't nobody else have love. And when you love the people, that's why people come. The America we travel is populated by optimists like Dallas High School band director Chris Evitz. Up. He left the comfort of a suburban school for Woodrow Wilson in the city. Competing with what we call the, the rich suburb schools, I want to go out and show those programs that we're just as good as them. Let's get in school song. When Evitz got here seven years ago, the band could barely carry a tune. Now they are loud and proud. Go Wildcats. Optimists make choices the rest of us can't fathom. Steve Ross survived the horrors of the Holocaust, came to America, and devoted his life to helping truants and dropouts in Boston. Can you show your arm? Yeah. <sighs> he didn't start by showing this to people. He's 92 years old now and had a stroke a couple years back. His son, Mike, speaks some of the words his father cannot. I think he's concerned that people are gonna forget about the Holocaust, and I am too. His message? If I can survive 10 concentration camps, you can survive anything. Ross was also the driving force behind the building of the Holocaust Memorial in Boston. Optimists can see the future and know they will make a difference. Gitanjali Rao was named America's top young scientist last year. Motivated by the Flint, Michigan water crisis, she invented a portable testing kit. She's done a TED Talk and appeared on Jimmy Fallon. How would you describe yourself? I'm a very curious person and I like to learn about everything that I can see and know about everything around me. Gitanjali works hard and plays hard. She's a tween with a dream of making the world a better place. Will she? Of that, we have no doubt. I never really feel pressured because I like what I'm doing. Right. So it's never really pressure for me. Right. I think it's just all fun and games. We would be remiss not to mention the octogenarian volunteers at Children's Healthcare in Atlanta. We really do get along, yeah. but, <laughs> but we are opposites. <laughs> I couldn't do what he did. I bring them flowers. Tom Omstead has been bringing donated flowers and goodies to the nursing stations here for 20 years. Hey, buddy. And David Deutschman holds babies in the intensive care unit. I think I get more out of it than he does. These babies need to be held. They like the sense of touch. Most every week, we meet people we fall in love with. Folks who find fulfillment in lives that reach far beyond their own concerns. Good job, guys. Optimists. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, New York.